Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. Today we are going to learn how to filter files by using wildcard in FTP task in SSIS package. So we will be using this wildcard to make the choices of what type of files we want to download. Maybe we want to download only text files and the, we have different options. Uh, we can use asterisk, we can use question mark, and we will get to know how some specific files uh, we can download by using these wildcards. Uh, they can be depending on the name or their extension or uh, some specific characters inside the file name, uh, and uh, we can uh, make choices uh, and filter those files and then download only those files. Uh, we will learn uh, how to create SSIS pa package from the basics. Uh, to download files from FTP server, we will learn how to create variables for local path and we will learn how to create the variable for remote path with wildcard. So we can change the value of the variable and by changing the value of a variable, we can filter different files depending upon the filter wildcard we have provided in that variable. How to implement different wildcard to filter files for downloading requirement that's our third point and then we will understand the different wildcard and some of the examples I have put there we will demonstrate all of these so we'll use asterisk we'll use a question mark to uh, filter those uh, uh, files and uh, we'll use in different scenarios let's uh, open a SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and create SSIS package and we can start from there. I have a folder that is called local folder and that's where we will be downloading our files and then what I have here in the SSDT I'm going to create a new package so we will be in the project and right click on SSIS packages new SSIS package and here we will be using FTP task that's what we will do to download the files from FTP server to the local server local folder now here one thing I want to have the FTP IP address or FTP name of my server that I'm gonna use so I copy this one this is my FTP uh, IP address I'm going to open a browser and just paste it here so I can see what exactly I have on the uh, on the FTP server and here I have a test folder if I will go to the test folder I will see all these different files sitting there they have different names uh, some of them have client underscore as uh, client underscore uh, as underscore uh, pak client underscore na underscore usa some has customer and uh, some of them are my file some of them excel files if you see here customer as and dot xls file some are trace files so different type of files are sitting there now by using the wildcard we will make a selection of which files do we want to load so here we are creating this uh, SSIS package if uh, I will take the path the same path for my FTP server and put in the package what happened now I have to open the FTP task create a new FTP connection and once I click here I, I have to provide the server name once I provide the server name I have to provide username and the password and test connection now it is saying connection cannot be established server name port number or credentials may be invalid that's the wrong error message as we have FTP colon backslash backslash that's what creating problem so we have to remove this one and then we are testing again it's all success so remember we don't have to provide those backslashes and uh, FTP colon here in the server name otherwise it's going to throw you error so if you are even using the name you will say FTP dot your company name dot com that's all you will be using you will not copy from the explorer and just paste it there and say okay it should be working so that's not going to work so that's you have to remove those FTP colon and backslashes hit okay next part what we are going to do we are going to create two variables first variable we will create a local folder path we can call it local folder path that's where we will download the files and it is going to be string and here we will save the path of the folder let's go back here provide the path 
we are good next uh, what we want to do we want to create another variable that will be remote remote folder path with the wildcard that's what I'm calling this one so in the FTP task we have to provide the local folder path as a variable or we can directly put the folder path but I would like to put or use the variable because when we move to the uh, other servers such as UAT, QA or production I can change the folder path uh, by just uh, using the configuration in SSIS uh, so I don't have to open the package and change it and also by having this uh, variable remote folder path with the wildcard uh, I can change the selection of the files I want to download and uh, this will be very dynamic we can just change that by using configuration and we don't have to open the package at all so that's why I'm using the variables here here if you open the SSI, uh, sorry FTP task uh, editor, you will go to the file transfer, and we are receiving the files. So we'll select receive files. Here is path uh, is local path variable. Yes, and we will provide the folder path, local folder path. Now here it is asking is a remote path variable. We we are saying false. And we can connect here and click here and go to the folder so we know that we are selecting everything from a, a test folder we can select the test folder and it has all those files so we can select any file if we like and say okay so we can as we are not selecting only one file we can uh, use the entire folder here so we have this folder and we can use the asterisk dot asterisk wildcard so that means uh, asterisk means the very first asterisk here means uh, every file doesn't matter it start with a b c or z or customer or client or whatever I want to select all the files and dot uh, after dot we have extension so this uh, asterisk means any extension of that file so this is the very first uh, wildcard we are using asterisk dot asterisk it means everything from the test folder we want to select so I'm gonna copy this one just cut it or copy or whatever hit ok now we create this variable we know that and I'm gonna provide the value here you can write it here I just wanted to show you how you will be able to um, go there in the FTP task and you can scroll or uh, dig into the different folders and all that so you can do from there and just copy and paste it here and change the wildcard you need to do now we will go back and just use that variable here so is the remote path variable yes and the remote path variable with wildcard that's what we are using hit ok now if I run this FTP test what's going to happen it is going to download all those files from the test folder as we have used asterisk dot asterisk so it's going to use download all those files let's go and run the package and it did uh, download all those files go to the folder and we can take a look it downloaded everything as our wildcard was the asterisk dot asterisk after the folder so we can delete these files now now what we are going to do we are going to go to the next example it say file name asterisk dot uh, asterisk so here uh, we can change the value to the variable go to variable and here we can change the name so if I go here and I am interested to download only files that start with client I can do it or I can download the file that start with the customer so let me do one thing let's start with the client and if I go here I just have to say client and client asterisk mean anything starting with the client and after that doesn't matter it has date underscore whatever and dot asterisk that means any extension that can be excel file that can be uh, text file that can be dot trace file so any file that start with the client but ends with anything that will be downloaded so let's run this one right now we don't have anything let's run the package so all those files are downloaded and here we can go and take a look so it downloaded all those files that started with the client and then after that doesn't matter whatever they had it so that's how this will work let's go to another example 
now what we have here we are saying asterisk dot txt so we have downloaded all the files doesn't matter whichever whatever the extension was but here we are only interested in downloading in dot text files so we will go to the variable again and we'll say we want every file asterisk dot but uh, the extension should be .txt so those files should be downloaded if I go here uh, and take a look uh, so I have uh, this package file this should not be downloaded this, this is xls file this should not be downloaded there is a trace file that should not be downloaded as well so let's run this one now we are only downloading .txt files stop the package go to the folder and we can see all the text files are downloaded so that's how you can select what type of files you want to download by using these wildcards let's go to the next example now here we have an asterisk underscore asterisk underscore and dot and asterisk so this can be used let's say we have files that has asterisk here we have client underscore as underscore ind that has two uh, underscore in that and we are interested uh, to download all the files uh, which has at least uh, two underscore in that here in a uh, client underscore na we don't have uh, as uh, underscore in this one so we have client underscore na and we don't have underscore usa this is space so it should not be downloaded it should download only the files which has two underscore in them so let's go and change it so here go to the variable value and here we will be saying asterisk underscore asterisk and then underscore and then we can say asterisk and then any extension we can say it doesn't matter we want asterisk as well so asterisk anything before the underscore then we want to have anything whatever comes between the asterisk uh, underscores and then after anything after the underscore is fine as well but at least two under, uh, underscores should be there so let's run this one and see if that works it ran successfully but let's confirm it so we can see that there are two files they follow that this has underscore underscore so there are two underscore that's why they are downloaded so you can build your uh, wild card or the way you want to build the filter by using these uh, wild cards so here we use uh, asterisk underscore asterisk underscore asterisk and then we said any type of file we, we want in next uh, now let's consider we have this question mark how this play a role so the question mark is used for one character so it can be anything between 0 to 1 2 3 and go uh, to 9 or it can be any alphabetic uh, uh, a b c d whatever so let's consider this scenario now we have uh, my new file dot txt and i have my trace dot trc and i want to download only the file that start with my and then have only five characters after that that can be any five characters so i don't want to download all the files any file that start with my and have five characters and have any extension that's fine so let's uh, go back and change our wildcard here so we'll be saying my and then we'll say question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark we'll put five question marks that will say any thing after my will work any characters will work and then we have a dot asterisk that mean any extension will work so that's how you will build your wildcard now here in the local folder what we have let me delete this file and we have no file sitting here and here on the FTP we have files starting with my there are multiple files we have two files but it should load uh, download only one file that will uh, follow the criteria we have defined uh, here now we ran the package stop the package come back to the folder and here we see that it downloaded only my trace because 
T R A C E is five characters and it start with my let me delete this one now we can go back and we can change the criteria to anything let's say we want to get a file in that we have uh, let me see it should start with the first C and then should have only now let me one two three four five six seven seven characters so it should start with C and then uh, it should have seven characters so now we go to variable we say it should start with c folder c and then ha should have seven characters so now i put c and seven question marks uh, because that's how i want to get those files even we have the files uh, with the uh, c l i n t that's but that that's a long uh, uh, number of characters after C and here we have a customer and uh, that file probably will be the only file that will follow that let's run it and see which files are downloaded now if we go back and run it start it downloaded something so let's see what it downloaded so it downloaded only the customer file it did not download any other file because uh, after C there are more characters and here we were looking only for seven characters and there was only one file that followed that pattern so it started with C and had seven characters after that and it can be any extension if we would have dot XLS or any file that will be also downloaded if that followed this pattern so that's how you will use the wildcard to build the filter and get the files which are required by the company and you will be having maybe you will have tons of file in one folder by department name or by date or by time or by year and that's how you will build the wildcard to download only the files related to your work and leave the all of the files as it is on the FTP you never will even download them so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, uh, I hope you learned something about the wildcard and how to use them uh, in uh, different scenarios. Uh, and I will see you in the next video.